All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Passive Cash Flow Podcast. This is Aaron Fregnito, your host, co owner of People's Capital Group. And this is episode number six called Three Vetted Investments for Passive Investors. So we are going to break right into it here today. We're going to go over three hot new investments that Seth Martinez and I have just vetted. We'll look at 400 properties to buy one. And we're going to talk about three properties we found recently. One we've been working on a while that is fully funded. Another two that we're just opening up to investors now. So very exciting time for People's Capital Group. And let's break into how we found these buildings, what type of buildings they are, how we're going to structure them with our passive of investors and how we're going to reposition them and exit our investors over time for awesome returns. So we have three buildings right now. It's cost us tons and tons of direct mail marketing. It generally costs about $20,000 in direct mail marketing and advertising to find a good deal. So here we are now with three deals. We've been investing a lot this year. Uh, one deal is closing very soon. We actually just fully funded it. Um, when we find these good deals, you know, we have so many investors lined up ready to go and to put their money to work. We do work on a first come first serve basis. So the investors that are longest in queue will get served first uh, because they've been waiting the most for a deal. And sometimes it's hard to find a deal. It might take us six months to find a good deal, although we do try to close on a piece of real estate every three to six months. But you know, life isn't perfect like that. Sometimes it takes you six months to find a good one. And then all of a sudden you're closing on three at one time. So that's part of the syndication business. So we're constantly juggling opportunities and investors capital and relationships with high net worth individuals and look to put their capital to work effectively and quickly, but we also have to really vet a ton of opportunities and really cherry pick the best ones. So you have to be patient on our end and our investors have to be patient as well. But let's explain these deals, how we found them and how we're going to structure them with investors. So the, the first one is an 11 unit property in uh, Patterson, New Jersey. We see a lot of opportunity there. Patterson's one of the last remaining cities where you can get a great investment opportunity. You can make some really good cash and cash returns. We've done very well in Newark through the years. Newark is still a place we invest. Inner city areas like Patterson and Newark are areas that you can commute into Manhattan in less than an hour. Uh, but you can also get a one bedroom apartment for $1,050, right? Where if you go to Jersey City or Morristown, which are you know comparable cities that also get you into Manhattan in about an hour, the rent's going to be two to three times more, okay? And the real estate will be three to four times more. So you're really paying a premium to get into those areas. Now, you do have to pick and choose where you buy in inner city areas because there's some areas that are, are riddled with um, crime and there's other areas that are very up and coming, uh, very good areas. A lot of times the downtown areas, right? The areas around the train station, that's where we try to focus on where there's a, a lot of activity going on, positive changes happening in the community. And that's where inner cities change the most generally is right around the downtown area. So we're buying uh, buildings uh, right in downtown Patterson right now. Two of them actually, one we just fully funded was an 11 unit opportunity, a storefront and then 10 apartments, a very nice opportunity, classic warm out landlord. Rents are about 25% below market value. Uh, he's been tired of managing the real estate for about 30 years now. Always managed it himself. So never really cracked the code on how to work with a management company properly. We own our own management company, of course, which is our secret weapon to reposition these properties. And uh, But he is uh, motivated to sell the building to us. So we got the building for a great price. We put together a lot of investors on this one. We actually have about eight to 10 investors on this one, all investing between 30 to $80,000. So generally, there's not that many investors in um, such a small pool of about a $400,000 raise, but this one just happens to pan out that way. And maybe that's a testament to us reaching out to all different types of individuals. Again, you don't have to be a millionaire to invest in people's capital group. You can be, and we do work with plenty of millionaires, but you don't have to be. We make real estate accessible. So if you go to peoplescapitalgroup.com, you can see our website there. You can sign up for our events. You can read up on more information, check out other episodes of our podcast. And we have webinars three times a month. We have events that are office twice a month. You can go to our meetup group on meetup.com, which is called New Jersey Real Estate Network. So we also have a RIA on meetup.com, New Jersey Real Estate Network. And we have over 3,300 members in that. And that will highlight our events at the office and it'll highlight our webinars and things like that. So if you want to learn more about what we're doing here, check out our website and check out our meetup group there. And our website is peoplescapitalgroup.com. Let's talk about the second opportunity we have here. Okay. So we're also buying, actually, we're buying an office building, an office building down the street from us. And we're going to be moving our uh, business over there. 
Um, so this is still falling into place, but right now it's looking like we're gonna be buying this office building and uh, for a very good price, below market value. It's been sitting on the market for years. I've been driving by it my whole life. It's, uh, one, it's a very beautiful, prestigious office building. And we're gonna lease up personally about 25% of the building for our business, our management company. And uh, Seth Martinez and I also have our own offices. And uh, we're also a nice area for our events, right? So we'll have like 20 people come in for our events twice a month. So we need to have a big space for that, um, which unfortunately isn't cheap, but we do that here in the office, but we max out at about 15 to 16 people here in the office. It gets pretty tight. So we're actually moving to a bigger space. So that's a great news for people's capital group. We're building our business. We're, we're building into a bigger office space. Now we're going to own the building. And um, there's also about six other offices on our floor. Okay. The rest of the building is fully rented, but our space uh, is on the first floor and about, we're going to take up about half of that first floor. So what we're going to do for the second half of the first floor is we're going to rent out the offices as individual office spaces, kind of like uh, WeWork or, uh, you know, uh, they do it differently unless, of course, they're going out of business, but, <laughs> you know, Regis, something like that, right? So you could rent an actual specific small office space. We'll include the Wi-Fi. There's a kitchen. There's a bathroom. There's a conference room they can use for an extra fee. And uh, we'll get be able to rent the space faster that way. There's more demand for, a, you know, a 10 by 12 office space for 500 bucks a month where you can have all the amenities included than there is for six or seven offices necessarily, you know, $4,000 a month. So it's hard to find that $4,000 tenant. It'll sit on the market much longer. Your days on market for office space is slower. But this building is a great opportunity. It's right down the street from us and uh, really a good opportunity for us to build our brand, uh, get it by a nice office building at a great price. And by leasing out those other offices that are vacant uh, individually and getting 500 bucks an office, now I'm going to get much better rent roll on the building over time than I would by leasing out uh, a larger office space to a larger company. Because these days the demand tends to be for smaller space, for smaller, uh, you know, small businesses, uh, a single accountant, an attorney, whatever is a realtor, broker office, you know, something like that, um, a home inspector, right? So whatever, it doesn't have to be real, real estate related. That's the plan for that building. Um, really great returns on all these buildings. Um, and then we're also buying a third building here, which we really haven't even opened up to investors yet. Although I did speak with some verbally and, and there's already a ton of interest in it. Uh, we, we might fund this one very quickly. It's a beautiful $3 million building in, in, in uh, downtown Patterson. Actually, we're paying a little more than that, but it, it appraised much higher. And this building is something that uh, was built about 10 years ago, a nice building. It's a, a 25 units. And uh, this building is right near the train station. So it's a great location that you can get you into Manhattan in less than 60 minutes. Um, there's a ton of development in downtown Patterson right now. So um, you know, I am a big proprietor of Patterson. It's not just because I'm buying two pieces of real estate there. We've done well in Patterson for years. We've done very well in inner city areas. I am all about the inner city areas. You know, I know a lot of investors like to stay in areas where they feel very safe at all hours of the night and everything like that. But to be honest, you're not really driving by your real estate at two in the morning anyway. So um, I don't buy in terrible areas, but we do try to focus on inner city areas where you get better ROI, better return on investment. So this 25 unit building here, downtown, right near the train station, beautifully done, totally renovated in uh, just less than 10 years ago. And we're actually gonna do something called the escalating returns for larger investments on this. So this is very cool. This is something we're branching out and beginning with our larger uh, syndications right now. So basically, if you the more you invest, the stronger your return will be. So we do have a minimum investment amount of $30,000 because we make real estate accessible. Some of our investors are our contractor who self-directed his IRA or um, different realtors we work with that had a big closing and have $30,000 saved up from a big closing and they can invest. So it, by doing a $30,000 minimum investment, we used to be a 50. We've lowered it because we want to work with more people. The more people you work with, the more they'll tell their friends about how incredible People's Capital Group is. And that's how you build a real estate investment company over time. Uh, by casting a wide net, working with integrity, and executing on uh, your projections. So by lowering our minimum investment out, we connect with more investors and open up the pool to more investors. However, it does make it harder to raise larger amounts of capital. So we have an escalating scale here. And depending on how much you invest, your return will grow and, and, and be a better ROI. Uh, the difference isn't, isn't that large, but the, you know between 30 to 50, and then 50 to 100, and 100 to 250, and 250 to 500, and 500 plus. 
So there's an incentive for our investors to put in a larger amount of capital. A lot of large syndications do this escalating scale of returns. This is a very interesting opportunity where if you can invest a larger amount of money, you can start making returns that are really just out of the park. So that is something that we're working on with our investors on this new 25 unit building. It's something that um, we've seen a lot of other syndications companies do and they've had a lot of success with it. So we are eager to uh, offer this opportunity to our investors of escalating returns. Some of our investors in our network do have millions of dollars to put to work, but there's no incentive to them to make larger investments necessarily in the properties. And other investors have maybe 100,000 to put to work, but again, the incentive isn't there. So we have created an incentive now. We've given away more of the pie so that our investors can make better returns on these uh, bigger properties, okay? And the bigger the property, the better. The bigger the property, the safer it is. The more tenants you have paying in to your pocket every day, uh, through paying rent, the safer the building is. So we try to focus on larger properties. Um, right now, really anything less than 10 units we're not interested in buying. Uh, sometimes we do six or six to 10, but really we focus on 10 units or larger. And uh, we are closing on these three properties over the next 30, 60, and 90 days. So uh, our investors have an opportunity to invest in a 30-day period or a 60-day period or a 90-day period, depending on, of course, what their needs are. So that's great for our investors too, because if you go and you talk to another competing syndicator uh, with People's Capital Group here, they're, they might tell you, oh, well, you know, we have a building, but it's not gonna close for six months, or we just closed on a building and we do one a year, because syndications are big and complicated and they're hard to find. You have to pull together a lot of capital. So a lot of times you'll be talking to a syndicator and you'll need to just be in touch with him for six to 12 months to actually put your money to work. Now, People's Capital Group, we're aggressive. We're doing a ton of marketing, $20,000 of marketing a month. So we find deals. There's a lot of inventory in New Jersey. Most of the deals we look at are bad, but when we cherry pick those great, amazing deals and bring them to our passive investors, they move uh, because they're good deals. And we've executed a ton of due diligence. We bring them a nice investment opportunity on a, on a pretty platter, and they're able to make a decision quickly and effectively on what to do with their capital. Um, so by bringing the service to investors, by you know focusing on larger buildings, inner city areas where you get better cash on cash returns, up and coming areas where you see a lot of hype, a lot of energy. I know Steven Spielberg's now recording a West Side Story in Patterson, New Jersey. That's that's very cool. That's that's putting Hollywood into Patterson. That's a step forward. Patterson's really trying to be a more of a reputable city on the map. It's had a lot of struggles with their mayors going to jail. Uh, it's pretty much constant there, and their politicians just being wicked, dirty politicians. What a surprise. And uh, basically, you know, th that doesn't pan out well for the city over time. But there's a lot more than their uh, stealing mayors. And Patterson has a ton of opportunity. The people there are great. The politicians might be terrible, but Patterson itself is a great city with a lot of opportunity. And there's a train station that gets you into Manhattan in less than an hour. So if you're working in Manhattan, which I mean, that's a huge, huge demographic, then uh, you're looking around for you know renting a one bedroom or two bedroom and not breaking the bank, not paying you know a, a two bedroom in Hoboken is uh, $2,500, you know? So it, it's crazy to $3,000, depending on how nice the unit is. So, you know, where you can go to Newark or Patterson and go in a nice downtown area where it's still safe and it's there's stores and there's shopping, there's tons of stuff to do. You know, it, it's not like a desolate city. It's a fun, hustling and bustling uh, city, um, but you're gonna pay a, a, a two thirds to a half of what you're paying in neighboring cities. Okay, that are more prestigious and have higher home values. But by knowing where to buy in inner city areas, knowing these markets like the back of your hand, you can do very well with inner city syndications. And that's what we focus on here at People's Capital Group. So again, if you want to learn about how you can get involved in these syndications, you want to go to peoplescapitalgroup.com. You can fill in your information. Uh, we'll get in touch with you. We'll talk to you about what we have going on. Hopefully these opportunities are still available by the time we get in touch with you. Uh, but we're always connecting with new investors. We're always bringing new opportunities to the board and we're always looking to uh, build a relationship. So, you know, a lot of times we'll get in touch. We'll just start to get to know each other. Maybe you come to a couple events. Maybe you check out a few webinars, listen to some podcasts, and it might be a year or two till you're comfortable and, and knowledgeable enough to uh, move forward with an investment in people's capital group. And that's perfectly fine. But it all starts educating yourself, you know, watching the webinars, picking up information, reading books, 
Um, make sure if you are connecting with some type of guru or educator that they're not trying to sell you a bunch of books and CDs. We don't sell books and CDs. We don't do the coaching guru upsell. You know, I'm not here to tell you, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, transform your entire life and, and you know, you're, you're, you got to get to work and make it happen. And listen, I, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. We're very good at repositioning properties. I'm not trying to sell you a book or CD. We work with lots of investors and beware those people out there that are pushing their educational material um, because, of course, they're looking to sell you educational material. So I'm not saying all of it's useless. There's a lot of great material out there and a lot of it is worth the, the cost. And a lot of other stuff is very overpriced um, and kind of pressure sold. I won't name any names, but we've seen that. And um, so beware of that, you know, and, and at the end of the day, we educate for free. We educate people about what we're doing. We're actually doing it. We're executing it. We work with lots of local investors. We have an excellent, flawless track record. So our intentions are just buy more buildings. Uh, we'll present opportunities to our investors. Uh, your position is completely passive. Our investors earn double digit cash on cash returns. Uh, the tax benefits are phenomenal and put their internal rates return through the roof. So, you know, that's it. It's education. It, it's here's a building. Here's how it works. Here's what we're paying for it. Here's how much the investors are getting. Uh, here's the minimum investment. Here's the escalating scale. And here's the exit strategy and the reposition strategy. Here's some red flags. And here's what's the likely outcome of the scenario. You know, here's best case scenario. And here's a little worst case scenario. And here's a much more, you know, middle of the road scenario. So by working with people that know what they're doing, we've done this time and time again, we can kind of predict, hey, this one's going to be a snag. We're going to have, you know, this is going to be a challenge here. This is going to be a challenge here. But, you know, this is a, a good opportunity and recognizing that value opportunity where others won't and explaining it to our investors. Um, they learn a lot. They learn a lot when they invest with us. They get monthly updates. They get quarterly financials. And that's really all free education. Um, we give, also we do this thing called the learner and we'll give you all of our documents, our spreadsheet, our contracts we use to submit offers on homes and we'll give that to our investors that are eager to learn more. And we call it the learn and earn program where we just give you all that stuff for free. We're not selling you books and CDs, as I said earlier. We're an open book. We give our investors our documents and spreadsheets and things we use to analyze properties for free if they're investing with us. So that's really a great step forward to help um, hungry investors I want to learn more and more about this business and you should always be educating yourself. I mean, to do that, you can go to our website, peoplescapitalgroup.com. You can check out more of our podcast episodes or set up an appointment with uh, me to come in. We can talk one-on-one. -on -one. If you're a sophisticated or accredited investor and you have a minimum investment amount of $30,000, there's no reason why I won't give you an hour of my time for free to sit down and talk about what we have going on, review some different uh, investment opportunities we have on our books right now. And, See if it's fit for you. If it's not, no, uh, no uh, love loss. It's simply an educational session you get for free. So it's a great way to learn more about real estate. We could do it over Zoom. We could do it over the phone. You don't have to be local to New Jersey. I don't have to have you come all the way out to Berkeley Heights. We can do it over Zoom as well. If you guys want to learn more about that, uh, please go to our website, peoplescapitalgroup.com. Again, we have three awesome new investment opportunities. One is fully funded. The other one is pretty much close to fully funded. And we're opening up this great 25 unit to our investors in the next few weeks. First, we got to get everything locked up nice and tight. And then we're going to pass this one off to our investors and hopefully get it funded very quickly. We have a lot of eager investors for this one. So if you want to get in line for our next investment opportunity, if you want to put your money to work in the next 90 days, go to peoplescapitalgroup.com, uh, subscribe for more podcasts, check out our website, put your information in there. We'll get in touch with you. We'll talk to you. We'll sit down one-on-one, -on -one, educate you on real estate investments and syndications and what we do here. And at the end of the day, if it's a fit for you, great. We're going to start making some passive cash flow together. If it's not, then you learned a bunch of information for free and knowledge is power. Enjoy your night and please subscribe for more information, peoplescapitalgroup.com. <laughs>